Hello everybody. So what you see here are two magnet arrays, basically two ring magnets. Inside we also have a smaller ring magnet. And the copper color part is just a plastic spacer that I 3D printed. So yeah, just holds the center magnet in place. And if you wonder why I've got two of them, it's because I've um, oriented the center magnet with a different orientation with these two arrays, which also forms a very different magnetic field that I will show you now. So I will start with this array first, and as you can see, I can just rotate the outer magnet freely because we have, uh, yeah some spacings between the magnets and it is not a tight fit. So as you can already guess this center magnet wants to stay in the center. I can push it out but it always goes back to the center. So yeah this one doesn't escape. And I will show you the magnetic field of this one under the field viewer. And with this field viewer, the darker the color, the stronger the magnetic field, and the lighter the color, the weaker the magnetic field. And if we have no color, meaning the same color as the background of the film itself, we also have zero magnetic flux. And if I tilt this magnet array just like this, a bit up, you can see this blank spot in the center. And here, right here, on the outer side of the magnet itself, we have this blank spot. I will just rotate it a bit so you can see it from all sides. Get a better idea of what this looks like. So now I will swap over to the next array. And in this array I have oriented the center magnet in the opposite direction, which also results in a different field, which I'll show you under the field viewer like this. I'll just put it flat on and you will see in the center we have an additional ring and if I tilt it a bit you can see this bluish green orb, what I would call it, in the center which forms as an additional field that is separated from this outer ring as you can see by a smaller ring underneath it. I'm just tilting up the magnet like this underneath the viewing film and yeah, just rotate it a bit so we can get a good view of the actual field. If I rotate it to the side, it would look like this. And yeah, that's basically how these fields differ in their shape depending on which orientation I insert the center magnet. And what is also interesting is, I will show you this with the other array, I can just disassemble it by pushing the center magnet out. And now I will take a compass and show you the polarities of these magnets. So on this side we have South Pole, with the big array. On the small side we have North Pole here, meaning South Pole here. So we have South Pole here and South Pole here. You see? So we have same polarities, obviously they are repelled, but just up until here, until we cross that um, blank spot that I showed you before, and then it actually gets attracted inside the array. I don't have to push it in there, it gets attracted inside. As you can see, I can push it out, but it always goes to the center, even though these were um, yeah, basically same polarities. And this is how they want to stick together. If I just remove it again, and try it in a different polarity, north here, south here. So I just rotate it. So we have now north here and south here, opposite polarities. Gets attracted up until here to this point. And now it just flipped to the outside. And that is here, it will stick, but it just won't go to the center. I have to force it in there. And that's basically what I did with the other array. Now if I flip it again, like this, it gets attracted again to the inside. Which is a kind of interesting fact about ring magnets, that they are attracted with the same polarity and their center spots. And yeah, 
hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and goodbye